Climate has had an effect on the ice, whether it's been big ice or small ice. And as we warm into the future, as our global temperatures increase, we would expect or anticipate that the ice sheet will melt, will get smaller. So has that happened in the past? Yes, we know it has. Um, how quickly have those changes occurred? We're not exactly sure. We're trying to find out in the Andrew program. We're trying to go back to periods in time when we know Earth was warmer and understand how the Antarctic ice behaved in that time so that really we can get some sense for how it might change as the, the climate does warm into the future. We're standing in Wright Valley and in this direction is the Ross Sea and in that direction is the East Antarctic Ice Sheet and this valley was formed uh, as the glaciers moved through, came over the top of the Transantarctic Mountains and excavated the valleys all the way down to the Ross Sea. And the results of those glacier activities have deposited sediments out into the Ross Sea that we're recovering today at the SMS site. We've been sitting in the lab, in Crary Lab, and the core comes in and we get to look at it, but you have a very uh, narrow view of, of what's going on. And so by having the opportunity to come out into the dry valleys, you're able to see where a lot of those sediments originated and put, put those sediments into context um, with the geology of the valley. Understanding what happens at the poles during periods of climate change is especially important. The poles are really sensitive to any changes in global climate. So for example, when the Earth warms up, it's felt first at the poles. So places like Antarctica, you could say, are harbingers for global climate change. We still have many, many questions about Antarctica's geological history. And this is because we've only been really researching here for the last 50 or 60 years. And it was only about 100 years ago that the first explorers began to trek across the continent. Next time, we're going to meet some of the early researchers and explorers who have paved the way for exciting discoveries here on the ice.